Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Callie and I make skincare, health and wellness, and general lifestyle type videos. And today is my first in a series of videos about skincare ingredients. When it comes to being a consumer, I really believe that you should know what you're buying. And when it comes to skincare, I think it's crucial for you to understand not only what you're buying, but also what it's going to do for your skin. And a huge part of that is being able to look at the ingredients list on the packaging or on the bottle and being able to understand what it means and what it does for your skin. So not only will that be beneficial for your skin, but also beneficial for your wallet. So I thought the best place to start in the series would be with my favorite skincare ingredient, which is salicylic acid. So first off, what is salicylic acid? Salicylic acid is a naturally occurring beta hydroxy acid, which is derived from willow bark. So as a hydroxy acid, salicylic acid will weaken the cellular glue that keeps the dead skin cells stuck together, and it also encourages exfoliation. Then as a beta hydroxy acid, salicylic acid is oil soluble. What does salicylic acid do for your skin? The salicylic acid's effect on the skin is extensive. First, since salicylic acid is more oil soluble, it's able to penetrate into your pores instead of just remaining on the surface of your skin. So inside the pores, it then helps loosen up the clogs that are in your pores and as well as allowing the oil that comes out of your pores to flow more freely. Second, salicylic acid softens and dissolves keratin, which is the protein that causes cells to stick together. So this encourages exfoliation of the skin and unclogging pores by making everything easier to break down and get off of your skin. And then third, salicylic acid helps normalize the rate of your skin shedding its skin cells. And finally, salicylic acid is chemically similar to aspirin, so it's very anti-inflammatory and can reduce redness and inflammation in your skin. So what can salicylic acid help with? First, First, acne. Salicylic acid can penetrate the skin in clogged pores, and so that results in your skin being very deeply cleaned. When you use it really regularly, salicylic acid not only unclogs pores and helps clear acne, but also prevents it. So there's three primary factors that cause acne, one being excessive dead skin cells, another being excessive oiliness, and the third being bacteria. Salicylic acid helps prevent two of those three causes of acne. It helps prevent acne caused by excess dead skin cells by dissolving the type of debris that clogs pores and causes acne. Also, when dead skin cells cause acne, it's usually because the cells are clumped together, and because they're clumped together, they more easily clog pores. But salicylic acid prevents that from happening because not only does it help remove and exfoliate those dead skin cells, it also loosens the keratin that binds them together, so they're easier to exfoliate off. So in that way, they're more easily removed and are less likely to clog pores. So second, salicylic acid has been shown to regulate and reduce the skin's oil production so that also helps prevent acne by having less oil that's on the skin that could potentially clog your pores and therefore salicylic acid is really helpful for people who struggle with whiteheads and blackheads because that is what it's most effective at fighting however salicylic acid is only mildly antibacterial and it hasn't been shown to kill the most common type of acne causing bacteria so since cystic acne is typically caused by the most common type of acne causing bacteria, salicylic acid isn't the most effective option for someone who's struggling with cystic acne. So the second thing that salicylic acid can help with is oily skin. Salicylic acid is one of the few ingredients that can actually slow down your skin's oil production. The trick is to find the right amount and frequency to keep your skin's oils in balance and avoid over drying your skin. So the third thing that salicylic acid can help with is dark spots. Salicylic acid has been shown to fight hyperpigmentation because it aids in exfoliation, it can help break up the pigmented skin cells that are on your skin and thus allows them to fade a little bit faster. It can also correct dark spots without irritating your skin because it's anti-inflammatory as well. Fourth, salicylic acid can help with enlarged pores. Pores often look bigger than they actually are because they're clogged with dead skin cells or oil. So since salicylic acid can go within the pore and help clean them out and also prevent them from being clogged again, the pores won't appear as stretched and will then look smaller when you're looking in the mirror. So the fifth thing that salicylic acid can help with is your skin tone. Since salicylic acid helps exfoliate, it helps reveal healthier looking skin underneath. The skin underneath will also appear 
appear much more balanced because of salicylic acid's anti-inflammatory properties. Now, how to use salicylic acid. Salicylic acid comes in many different forms, like gels, wipes, creams, face washes, you name it, you've got an option. It's most effective if applied consistently and products usually contain between 0.5 and 2% concentration of salicylic acid. So popular salicylic acid products include gels, creams, spot treatments, medicated pads, toners, and cleansers. Primarily these products will be targeted to fight acne, but salicylic acid will also show up in some anti-aging products. And if you guys wanna check out any of my favorite salicylic acid, acne, or anti-aging products, I will have them all linked down below. And I've talked about them in so many different videos. You could probably watch any one of mine on skincare. I'll have my playlist linked up here, but you can watch any one of them and I'll definitely talk at least about one product with salicylic acid in it because they're my fave. But yeah, moving on to the side effects of salicylic acid. As with anything concerning your skin, your body, your well-being, you should always consult your doctor or dermatologist before adding anything that you haven't used before into your skincare routine. Here are some of the general side effects that I found while doing my research for this video that you should be aware of. Salicylic acid can make your skin more sensitive to the sun, so you need to make sure that you're wearing a sunscreen daily when you're using a salicylic acid product, but you really should be doing that anyway. So sunscreen is key for your skin. But if you're worried about sunscreen breaking your skin out, I will have my favorite sunscreen that I use every morning linked down below, which is formulated specifically for people with acne prone skin, so you have nothing to worry about. Further, salicylic acid can have a drying effect on your skin. So if you have dry skin that is acne prone and you want to use salicylic acid, definitely start with a low concentration, of like a 0.5% salicylic acid product, and make sure to moisturize, use it sparingly, and slowly build up your tolerance with the product to make sure that your skin doesn't get really dried out. The same goes for if you have oily skin. Always make sure to moisturize when you're using salicylic acid because if you let your skin dry out from the salicylic acid, that will cause your skin to produce more oil because it knows that it's dried out. So that is kind of beating the purpose of using salicylic acid in the first place to help control your oil production. So definitely always make sure that you're using a moisturizer with salicylic acid. So if you have combination skin, just work with your skin to find the regimen of salicylic acid and moisturization that maintains a balance in your skin. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like because it really supports my channel and make sure to subscribe because I put out new videos every Monday and every Thursday. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.